Hello and welcome to Game Reviews and More. This is Ark and I'm doing a uh, semi-live commentary um, on a battle I just played minutes ago. This is Shogun 2, by the way. Um, right here I got me and my allies army. I got uh, five bow samurais, um, four uh, Yari samurais, and five katana samurais backed up by my general, and three Yari cav. Um, my ally has... I believe five Yari Cav, a um, couple Yari Spears, one uh, Yari Ashigaru, and crap tons of uh, Katana Samurai. And I see, you got five Yari Cav and his general, which I think is just a leadership general. But uh, anyway, here's my opponent's armies. Uh, they have three bow samurais. Uh, Three Yari Samurais, seven Lone Swords with some Katana, seven Sword Units, we'll just say that. Uh, quite a bit of Yari Cav. Second opponent, tons, I think five Yari Cav over there. Uh, three Matchlock Ashigaru, uh, four Bo Ashigaru, three Naginata Samurai. Ooh, those guys are, those guys are pretty tough. I didn't even realize that. Um, and four katana samurai backed up by his general. Um, this is a 2v2 battle that, again, I said I played recently. Um, just felt like pushing, putting this one up because uh, I got plenty of videos for my channel, so I might as well start posting to game reviews and more. Um, right now, you can see my uh, enemy is flanking around his cavalry. Uh, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, at the same time, he was not uh, charging, you know, sending his troops for it, which would have been a better distraction because basically all I had to do was keep an eye and make sure his units weren't moving. Um, so I was completely focused on these uh, cavalry. He probably could have done a pretty big move if he uh, did something else, but you know what? It's, it's a good bet, because most people don't usually look for cavalry. I've been beaten up by cavalry so many times, I watch out for them. Um, uh, yeah. Um, he has some, I guess, just one chevron uh, cavalry here. Just two of them are chevron. Uh, he's mostly just going to try and take out my general. Which I'm, I'm guessing what he's trying to do. It's because he's trying to flank around and hide in these woods, which he does hide in these woods for a long time, but I'm not really too busy. Uh, anyway, my opponent's opponent, or no, my ally's opponent, charges up with his uh, bow samurai, starts engaging him. I start to slowly move up my army, so maybe I can take some shots at those. They back off because I have more bows than him. So, yeah. I don't think the enemy hasn't charged his cab yet. Um, this is this is kind of a defensive battle, but if you want to do good, most battles are defensive. Okay, here we go. They first they charging they're charging into the back of my army. I uh, my ally has two hidden yari cav and two spears. I have three yari cav. This guy thinks, oh, easy. I just gotta attack his yari cav and get out. So he's going for the attack. I charge him. It's Basically, everyone, you know, we, he's just going for a hit and run. Oh, uh, he's going to sandwich my troops, destroy their morale. I think he destroy, he destroys one of my units right here. This is one Yari Cab right there. And then my ally springs his trap, where he sends his. I, I think I back off my Yari Cab pretty soon. Or he, re, he falls back because of spears and more Yari Cab. I back mine up to get some more morale. Uh, from my general. This guy, this guy is lucky. <laughs> he, he almost had his morale busted, but yeah. So I backed these guys up. I probably could have pressed the attack since my allies were there. Um, by the way, my allies in the dark blue, I'm the lighter blue. So if you got confused. Okay, nothing's happened on the infantry front. That's what was really weird. So he, his uh, Yari Cab just got smashed right there. Um, but he does have some uh, Yari Ashigaru coming up. I did notice that, so I turned my cab around to go for a, 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 another counter charge. 
Um, and so their their guys are their guys are practically routing. Um, so I just send mine in to help mop up the rest of them. Um, on the same at that same time, the enemy tries swinging around his Yari Cav. Um, unfortunately, he did not he did not know about these uh, two Yari Cav and a Katana Hero. Ooh, I did not notice that Katana Hero there. That is pretty sick. Those things are extremely expensive, but amazing. So yeah, that guy got thwarted by his Katana Hero and his two Yari Cav. Those guys are out of the fight, basically. We, right now, have the uh, uh, horse or the cavalry advantage. This guy still has two cavalry. They both have their generals still. So, but we have tons of cavalry, and our army is pretty much intact. Except for this guy. This guy, I don't know if I necessarily agree with his um, one Boashigaru and one Yari just kind of sitting out there. I kind of like how it is, but that one bow unit's kind of skimping. Um, 2v2s tend to, you know, I like to bring more bows. But, you know, it's his choice. Anyway, uh, so my... This is where, where kind of the, the entire battle starts. My units start um, uh, skirmishing with his matchlock and bows. His bows start ma uh, skirmishing with them. And I think this guy's also attacking him. Uh, I s activate my fire arrows to uh, destroy the morale of the matchlock units. Because if those guys get off too many shots, I'm screwed. So... Uh, I think, yeah, this guy, I think this guy gets just rocked. Or one of these guys gets their morale rocked. But then I, I activate, I knew that was going to happen. So I activate uh, Rally to boost my morale. It probably could have been used a little better. Um, but, you know, that, that probably saved quite a few of my um, uh, units from routing. Because these guys, the their morale ain't moving much. And oh, right here, I I noticed that their their matchlock units were way out in the open. So I quickly ran uh, my uh, yard cap past them. Um, their spears could not catch up to me, so I just quickly killed that matchlock and got out of there. And so now basically it's a, a bow fight at this point. Um, I noticed my allies also using his cavalry to smash into uh, his opponent's uh, archers and uh, so this is basically since we have the cavalry advantage and this guy ain't using his cavalry right now we basically just use our cavalry right now just to harass the enemy archers or just you know harass swordsmen or something uh, swordsman is probably not the best idea um, I did notice my ally start to move up his army there start to fight and so pretty soon but I hope I'm going to be doing is sending up my units pretty soon. Okay, there we go. So I send up my whole army. Uh, probably a little rushed, but you know what? Whatever. And I send up my general at the same time. I have a leadership general, which means if I have my, uh, I have a lot of leadership roles and stuff. My general is not meant to be in a fight. He's meant to stay behind my troops and give them morale support. Um, so basically, my guys will keep fighting. Uh, I, if I destroy their morale, that's good for me. Because that's, you know, what I'm trying to go for. I destroy the enemy's morale, and I try to keep up my own. Uh, my armies clash. I did notice right here, uh, he, yeah, this guy. This Yari Samurai was going to be going up against two swordmen and a spear on its end. So I went ahead and uh, gave it inspiration for my general. And so he would actually stay in that fight. Uh, the rest of these guys doing pretty good. Uh, just keeping my general way up there. So these guys are super happy that I'm right there. This guy is taking heavy casualties, but he's still in yellow. Because my general is like two feet away from him. He's like yelling at him. He's like, come on, keep fighting, you retards. But yeah, that's besides the point. Uh, so basically, I destroyed their morale by just keeping my morale up. And in this game, morale is key. I've had units of 120. Uh, they lost five units and started retreating. I mean, morale is huge. 
I mean, sure, that was the you know the weakest morale unit, but you break an uh, enemy's morale, you don't have to fight that army. I mean, that's simple as that. You get to save your army for something else. Um, basically, this is kind of just a controlled chaos. Actually, no, it's not even controlled. It is just chaos. I'm just sending everything I have. Not even, like, forming up my ranks. My guys are just running and slicing people up. I don't even know where my general is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he was uh, actually fighting some guys. I decided to pull him back so I wouldn't get a negative morale against my troops for him dying or something. Because that is really bad. And all of a sudden your general dies, that just depletes my army of its happiness. And there's no emergency cheeseburgers. Um, so... Remember that, kids. Pack extra cheeseburgers when you're on your invasion of Shogun Island, otherwise known as Japan. Anyway, we're just kind of harassing with the rest of our cavalry. There ain't much. 18, and uh, I don't know where my other cavalry is. Uh, just mostly harassing their archers again, and this game is pretty much over. Uh, it's over now, actually. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate it what you think, comment, and um, have fun.